Hello, lifeboat, how are we doing? Ghost lifeboat? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Ship Simulator Extremes. And in today's video, we are checking out the largest cruise ships in the game. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, here we have the largest cruise ship and the first cruise ship we are checking out in the video. This is the Oceana, and it is giving off quite a bit of Poseidon vibes here. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started up, and we're going to aim for an iceberg and sink the ship like we always do in this game. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it moving. All right, here we are on the bridge, as you can hear by the radio there, and the forward console, as well as the windows. We are going to go ahead and start up the ship by moving these two throttles forward, and that's all we have to do, actually because these two on the left and right are just bow thruster controls. So let's go ahead and switch to the walking mode here, and then we can actually walk around the ship. And this has quite a bit of interior. We can actually go inside the ship. But uh, here's a beautiful view of the bow. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at these controls here. We have some radar controls as well as a map here. Going aft, we look to have some, I don't know, maybe these are flags or whatnot. Yeah, look at this. These are the flags, and you can actually see we have a bit of a 3D view of the ship here. And if we go over here, we actually have the deck plans for the ship too. They're actually side plans, but we don't have to worry about the details there. Let's go ahead and make our way aft and I actually want to see what's on top of the bridge because I did see some details up there and we actually have a bar and a seating area and lounge area for the crew here as well. Now making our way aft you can see the ship is rocking and rolling here. I do have some pretty heavy waves going on. We are in the Arctic after all but um, yeah here we are on the deck. You can see we've got the main mast there and wow that is a lot of flags. Look at that and uh, we have this nice glass enclosed area. It might not actually be glass but it looks like it. And uh, I should mention that this is a purchasable ship. You can't actually get this in the game, so you have to actually get it from the Steam store. But if we go over here, we have a nice uh, view over the main deck. And I'm pretty sure this is where all the sail away parties would be held. All right, so making our way this way here, you can see we are traveling at 17 knots, which is a pretty distant speed for a cruise ship. Now, we will be uh, kicking up to probably 25, maybe 28 knots. But um, let's go ahead and look over at this area. This is the area I wanted to see, and I saw when I introduced the vessel. But we have some bridge ring views here. And this is going to be amazing here. Look at that. You can see each level of the superstructure as well as the bow. And turning around, we can see the lifeboats and just the massive size of this ship. It is really just in awesome proportions. But um, yeah, going over here, this is also something I want to see, is the very front of the bow. So if we go over here, we can look all the way down and there is the anchor and we are really kicking up in speed here at 18.1 knots but um yeah as you can see there's the anchor there's the anchor cranes and you can see they have a maximum of 12 tons so that's pretty cool and we also have some crew uh, uh hot tubs on the deck as well so that's also really cool and uh yeah, let's go over here to this bridge wing and let's see what you can see from here. So going over on this bridge wing, you get a really nice view on the other side of the ship as well as the bow. And look at that. That is an awesome shot there. Got to get rid of the GUI for this. You can see the sun there as well as the decks gleaming from the sunlight itself. So let's go ahead and head back to the bridge. Now making our way this way, we're going to take the stairs here and you can see the wonderful funnel as well. Now I do want to check out that portion as well as the interior of the vessel very soon so we're gonna actually have to divert the ship we don't want to sink too soon we want to wait to sink the ship so let's go ahead and go to the bridge and readjust our course all right here we are on the bridge and we want to head in this direction over here and um, yeah so let's go ahead and turn the ship slightly here and let's go ahead let's turn it to 15 Actually, no, that's 10 degrees there. Yeah, 10 degrees should do. Let's go ahead and go back to the walking view. All right, here we are back on the deck of the ship. Now, I do want to check out those interiors. I know you guys want to see them as well. And it's been a while since I played this ship in this game. So it's going to be a bit of a throwback. I'm already getting nostalgia while walking these decks. And there's also things that I didn't notice from before. You can see down here we have a really nice view as well. And, um, yeah, this is really cool. So you can just go to the bar and, uh, have a great time. But, um, yeah, really, really nice. And is this the same bar that we saw on the bridge? I think it is. That's quite interesting. And, uh, this is just an empty area forward, which is unfortunate. But, uh, 
yeah, there were limitations in this game. And, um, well, there still are because they haven't updated the game in forever. I think the last time they updated this game was 2012, maybe? But, uh, yeah. Now, what I'm really looking for is an interior portion. And I think I see a door over there. Maybe we can go in through this area here. I don't know if this leads to anywhere, but we'll find out. Oh, we can actually go inside here. But, um, can we go through here? Whoa! Oh, my gosh. That is broken. Oh, gosh. Um... Yeah, we were not supposed to see that. Uh, I think the correct way of looking at it is over here. No, that's actually quite interesting. Where are the stairs for the elevators and whatnot? Oh, look at this! The Oceana here. We got the name on the side, but I am looking for an interior portion. I'm still searching for that, so I want to find it. All right, so here I am on the back deck, and yep, I found my way in. We have to go down these stairs here and make our way down to the lifeboat deck. That's how we get into the interior of the ship, so... We gotta head down here, and, um, it's gonna be quite a while, so, uh, yeah, I think we, yeah, we're gonna have to travel quite a ways down to get to the lifeboat deck. Alright, we have finally made it to the lifeboat deck, and yeah, the nostalgia is really hitting me here. I remember walking down these decks multiple times to get to the interior of the vessel, so we are definitely in the right place, and these davits are quite interesting, oh my gosh. They're quite thin as well, the whole lifeboat is being supported by just that so yeah and it looks like i found it here we go this is the interior so we are now inside the oceana here and here is the main stairwell and we're blocked from going down there but if we go through here here we have the main atrium with the lower decks there oh my gosh um looks like we might have a small leak in the vessel but that's not a problem at all we are on k deck and i want to head to the bottom here so uh yeah let's make our way down oh can I not go down? Okay, apparently I can't. Um, so I guess we just have to go up. You know, I'm wondering where the ship's going right now. Let's go ahead and switch to the bridge view by clicking this here. Oh boy, okay, uh, there's an iceberg dead ahead there, so we might want to ram into that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just turn the ship slightly about five degrees to the port side. So, we'll be aimed up at that berg there, and, um... Interestingly enough, we are only traveling at 19 knots, but we should be good to crash into that iceberg. Anyways, we're back in the interior of the vessel, and we're gonna head up. We are at J deck. Hey, it's my deck, J deck. So, um, yeah, what do we have to offer on this deck? Well, sadly, nothing. We've got some chairs and whatnot. Those are really tiny chairs, but, um, yeah. We also have some firefighting equipment on the deck as well. Gotta have safety, even though we're about to ram into an iceberg. Um, yeah, here we have I deck, and this goes up quite a bit here. Here we have the Gentleman's Club, as well as a exit way through here. Um, this is quite interesting. Is this a staircase? Yes, it is. I know that there's a cabin in the ship as well. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Now, this is the cabin I'd definitely be staying at. Got a closet over here or a bathroom. Yeah, it's got to be a bathroom. We got the exit here, and we got an awesome balcony that we can't go out onto, but, uh, yeah, really, really cool, awesome cabin here. This is definitely my cabin on iDeck, so, yeah, we can actually take the, uh, the stairwell up here. We'll see if this takes us, oh, seriously? We can go down, but we can't go up. That is, uh, very, very strange. We got some key cards here, and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way, uh, back to the atrium where we are here. And let's make our way up. Oh, oh yeah, now we... Oh, really? Seriously? We can't go up? Oh, well. Well, that explains why there's no doors on this deck. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way back. Now, while the captain was down below, looking at all of the luscious interiors, his ship was sailing captainless and officerless towards a massive iceberg. And we're about to see what happens when it crashes into it. So, here we go. The Oceana is about to slam into this iceberg what is about to happen? Will it sink or will it stay afloat? We'll find out. Let's hope it sinks because that's what we needed to do. But there is the collision. And I'm not hearing any crashing noises. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are sinking. Look at that there. The, uh, the box on the left-hand side shows we are definitely going down. So, uh, yeah. We're about to sink here. Oh, what was that loud noise that I am definitely not going to ignore as the captain? 
Uh, we seem to have slammed into an iceberg and are sinking. So, uh, yep, you know what this means, folks. Cats into the lifeboat first. We are getting to the lifeboat. Well, I'm literally the only person on board. That's why I said the ship is officerless and captainless. Well, mainly because I'm not on the bridge. But there is a captain on board, so that's a bonus. Um, let's go ahead and find our way out of here. And I think, yeah, luckily for these exit signs. Thank God they put these exit signs in. If they didn't, we'd be trapped inside the vessel. But, um, here here we are at the lifeboat deck. How is everybody doing? Probably terrible because the ship is sinking. Look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and lower some lifeboats. So there we go, there we go, and there we go. Actually, I think this boat here is a, it's like a tender. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, yeah, this boat is a tender. It's not even a lifeboat. Well, I mean, you could definitely get some passengers off the vessel using this. Wait a minute, where was this even stored to start with? Oh gosh, we were rolling quite a bit. Oh no, somehow I missed my only opportunity to get into a lifeboat. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna go down with the ship. So we're gonna go ahead, make our way back to the bridge, and sadly go down with the vessel. Well, until the bridge goes under, and then I'm out of here. I'm gonna hop onto a lifeboat, because uh, if the ship does go down with me on board, um, then it will just stop the simulation, which is quite sad. But um, we are rocking and rolling in these waves, and I think we are going down uh, 1997 Titanic style, possibly. Uh, we could list over a little bit. I am noticing a slight list on board the vessel, but um, nothing completely to worry about yet. The water isn't on the bow quite yet, so we should be pretty much fine. Quite fitting that they have the water reflecting on the bottom of this logo because I'm pretty sure that the bow is going to do the very same thing because we have the Oceana name basically stapled onto the bow of the vessel. So uh, when it gets close to the water, it'll definitely be reflecting like that. So yeah, oh gosh, the ship is really rolling here. But um, yeah, let's make our way to the bridge and say our final goodbyes. Oh, we are definitely rolling over to the port side as well. So we may have damaged the port side of the vessel when we collided with the iceberg. Maybe an underwater shelf or something like that. All right, here we are on the bridge of the vessel. Now, how are we looking at the bow? Yep, there it is, folks. The bow of the vessel is taking on water. All right, so here we are in one of the cutters, and you can really see the Oceana is going down. We are nowhere near the, uh, the iceberg at this point, and it is totally sinking at this stage, just like the Titanic. And that tender is getting bashed up against the hull as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the bow here. And as you can see, there's the Oceana nameplate going under. Just like it uh, it is on the wall on the back of the ship, as I was pointing out earlier. But, um, yeah, she is definitely going down at this stage. Holy cow. Well, as you can see, the water has actually made it to the boat deck level. And is actually uh, washing the decks. Oh. I'm really not going to question what just happened to our cutter boat. Um, it just completely went under the water there. Uh, we got another cutter here just in case anything were to happen, but uh, it is really close to that hull. And, well, this one's fine for now. Do you want to see what the props look like here? Let's take a look. Look at those props coming. Am I sinking? Oh my gosh, I'm sinking. Get off. Get off. Escape. Oh no. I just sank the cutter boat. Uh, luckily we do have another one, so we are in good hands. Um, yeah, you can see the other cutter just went underwater there, so, uh, yeah, I'm not a really good, uh, boat captain for sure. Well, cutter boat captain at least. I'm a pretty good, uh, ship captain in these games, but when it comes to these little cutter boats, I'm no good. Um, as you can see, the ship is definitely in major peril. And the glass on the forward part of the superstructure is really not going to help either. With enough pressure, those glass panes are just going to burst in and water is going to flood the interior of the vessel. And uh, I'm pretty sure the interior is also flooding. Uh, maybe not. It's closer to the aft part of the vessel, so it might not be flooded until, well, it's about to go under so I'm really not gonna risk it going back in you know what to heck with it we're gonna go ahead and try to see the interior while it's flooding so yeah let's go all right here we are let's get a move on here if you want to see the interior of the ship flooding we better run and run fast because uh yeah this ship is going down so um yeah let's let's move it now I should state before we go into the interior of the vessel if I do feel that it is beginning to plunge, I will leave. I don't care where I am. I'm hopping onto one of those available lifeboats or tenders there, and I am leaving. I'd rather survive than watch the interior of the ship flood. 
And I think we left the bridge at the right moment because, as you can see, it is getting really close to those uh, those waves there. And next, it's just going to be a massive wave that comes over the bridge, and it's going to be gone for good. So, uh, yeah, let's keep moving here because uh, I do want to see that interior. We're tilting up 15 to 20 degrees here, but I'm going to go ahead and make my way down. And, um, yeah, we're going to try to get down onto that lifeboat deck, and I think that's where we're going to start seeing lots of water. So, um, if the water's up to that door, we won't be able to... Did I accidentally just switch? Oh no, it's going under. Oh my gosh. I may have just accidentally switched, but for a good reason. Holy cow. Yep, it is going to the bottom. Look at that. Yep, if we were on that ship for a minute or two longer, we'd be dead. We would be dead. So I am so glad I just got spawned inside this uh, this ship here. Or I accidentally clicked on it. But uh, the Oceana is going down. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is going vertical just like the Titanic there. Holy cow. I've gone ahead and switched out for a cutter since it's way faster. But yeah, look at that. The Oceana is going down and yep, going right down to the bottom there. So uh, yep, a very sad end, a very tragic end I should say to the fictional ship, the Oceana. Kind of a mix of a, uh, a cruise ship and an ocean liner I would say with that black hull as well. But um... Really nice looking ship, and now we're just watching it slip to the bottom. Hey, look at that! It's got one of those um, surf wave things where you, uh, you're you actually surfing a non-existent wave. So, that's really cool. I see those on a lot of uh, new uh, cruise ships, so that's really cool that they have that there. Um, so, yeah, the ship is rapidly going to the bottom and taking everything with it. Well, that's it for the Oceana, folks. As you can see, this was a ship built in Rotterdam, owned by the French because it's got French flags all over the place. And the sinking was all orchestrated by me because I wanted to claim tons of insurance money on it. And we probably will because obviously the captain wasn't on the bridge. And that's obviously a great excuse for claiming insurance money on a sunken ship. So, yeah, there goes the Oceana. And uh, as you can see, there's almost nothing left of it here. Just the stern. And it's about to plunge under. Hey, look at that. It's got a uh, stern door as well. So... Maybe this was also part car ferry? I don't know, but we'll probably never know because it just sank to the bottom. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next ship. All right, here we have a classic, the Pride of Rotterdam, a mixed car ferry cruise ship. And we're going to go ahead and sail and sink it. And this has been in past versions of this game, like Virtual Sailor or something like that. Virtual Sailor 2008 or something. I remember playing it a while ago, and somehow the propellers are spinning and we don't have the engines on. But we're going to go ahead and slam this into an iceberg as well. And we're actually going to try to do a glancing blow where we actually roll on our side. So that's going to be cool. So let's go ahead and hop into the bridge and get this thing moving. Now, I should mention, we do not have interior on this vessel. So we won't be walking around too much. So, yeah, let's get going. All right, so here we go. Let's throttle up those engines and let's get a move on here. Now, again, as I said, I want to do a glancing blow. I want to have this thing roll over a little bit. Kind of want to go Estonia, if you know what I mean. And, um, yeah, it's also a car ferry, so I guess it's kind of fitting. But, um, yeah, there's absolutely no interior. This is a very old model, and I think only the lifeboats have been updated. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this thing performs when it sinks. So, we are now on the move. This thing speeds up quite a bit faster than the Oceana did. But yeah, we are now moving pretty fast here. We are already at four knots, which is uh, pretty decent. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go full over, full over. We'll try to turn the ship, and we want to get that glancing blow. So here we go. It's about to happen. We'll go ahead and get rid of the uh, control panel there. And boom! There is our collision. That is definitely a big glancing blow there. Did we take damage? Yes, we did. Okay, we are sinking. So now we don't have to go back like we did with the other ferry. Um, and try it again, but yeah, as you can see, this ship is definitely going to sink, and I think we're going to sink on our side, so you know what, folks, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the walking mode for a little bit, because these ships take a little bit to sink, uh, especially these large ones, um, and, uh, yeah, you can really tell the age, I mean, look at those railings, they're massive, this is, like, from 2007 or 2008, whenever they were designing Virtual Sailor, uh, 2008 or something like that. I think that's the game that they called it, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, here we have the helipad, and uh, luckily the textures have held up pretty well. Oh, I'm just noticing how uh, how tilted the ship is getting to the starboard side as well with each wave there, but um, 
Yeah, we are definitely going down, folks. And, um, yeah. Here we have some form of ventilation, maybe a ladder or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, the ship is definitely going down. What is this? Oh, is this the bow door? Can we activate this from the bridge? I've got to find out. I, th I think I can. I just don't know what button to press for it. And plus, I'm not at the bridge anymore. Yeah, I can't click it. So, um, I, I definitely want to want to activate this, but, um, wait, did I? No, that's really unfortunate. We can't do anything with that. But I definitely know the ship is going down. Look at that. Yeah, the orbital view tells me all I need to know, and we are going down quick. So we're going to go ahead, lower all four boats here. And actually, we have a cutter. We have a regular boat as well. Oh, my gosh. Oop, didn't mean to do that. But I did mean to do this. Oh, holy cow. Those props are spinning like wild. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. She is going down. Uh-oh. Oh, that lifeboat is getting slammed over there by the stern of the ship. Back on the deck of the Pride of Rotterdam. We are still here. The ship is not plunged. And it is heading towards land slightly. So, yeah. Now, I do want to make my way down here. I do want to see if I can get onto that back deck. Because I would assume I have to, right? To to do the missions and whatnot for the, for the game. And, um, yeah, if I can't get down there, I don't know what the purpose would be to have this area even detailed. Now, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Oceanos, kind of the pool deck areas. The ship pitched and rolled in the heavy seas as it was going down. And I do have a documentary about it in the top right corner. You can check that out. But we're going to go ahead and hop back into the lifeboat. All right, here we are in one of the lifeboats here. This is the one that got damaged by the stern. But uh, we're going to go to the front of the ship and see how far the ship has gone down. And uh, actually, is it plunging? I think it might be plunging, but I can't say. The waves are too uh, too strong. Oh, yep, nope, this is definitely a plunge, folks. Yeah, she is going right to the bottom now. Look at that. And she is going down quickly there. Holy cow. Oh, she seems to have paused slightly. Maybe she hit bottom? I don't know. But uh, we are going to sail right over here and uh, see what's going on on the decks over here yep that's it that is the end of the pride of rotterdam going right to the bottom taking everything on board with it completely going vertical all the cars inside the ship if there were any would just be sliding forward and collapsing into the forward part into the water and are we sinking no we aren't but we are slightly damaged and there she goes we would be standing right there if we were still on board actually no on this lower level here but um there she goes, the Pride of Rotterdam sinking right to the bottom. We're going to go ahead and switch over to this, and um, those props are still spinning for some reason. I have no idea why, but they just are. So, uh, yeah, the Pride of Rotterdam has gone completely vertical, doing some Titanic action there. But let's get over there with our cutter boat here. And they call it a cutter for a reason, because we cut through these waves like crazy. Look at that. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, don't look at that, though. That's bad. Hello, lifeboat. How are we doing? Ghost lifeboat? I don't know. She is sinking to the bottom. One more dip here and she'll be under. And look at that. You can see the rudder is still in the last position that it was set as. And surprisingly, they don't have a third rudder here. But, um, yep. There she goes. The pride of Rotterdam has sunk to the bottom of the ocean there. So, yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.